MLB's coverage of baseball on the show brings us to the home of the Braves, Truist Park. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Atlanta Braves. Interleague Baseball. Mike Soroka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what do you got? We're getting a look at one of the top young right-handers. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Now to the plate, Rafael Devers. Hot shot on the ground is short. To second for one. Now over to Freddie, and it's a double play. So next to bat will be Xander Bogarts. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Too high. Bases are empty here with two men out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hit hard back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, that's, a, that's all he could do the right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Over to Albies covering at second. And, and stepping in, Ozzy Albies. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half Ladies of the first. For the Braves, the second baseman. Hit back Ozzie. up the middle. Gloved by Bogarts. And a good throw gets him one gun. <laughs> up next, That's Dansby Swanson. That's your stop. Dansby. First pitch of the AB now. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there are two away now. That is good. So oh, next up will be Freddie Freeman. Freddie. Mano Imano against Nate Evaldi. He has an even 10 hits in 36 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. And the pitch. Leading off for the Red Sox. The first down baseman. the left field line Bobby. and deep. Go and this will wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. And another foul ball. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Now the 0 1. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Another one sent foul. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hernandez. Kike hey, Hernandez is in with two away now as he no looks ball. at a called strike no one. Strike. Now a no. good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Popped up. Freeman might try to make a play on it, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fly ball right down the line and left. On the move is Ozuna. And he makes the catch in the corner. 
Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a Acuna digs in now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now the first pitch. Acuna. Junior. In there, and it's 0-1. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. All right, Maddie. They show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip Maddie, treats it. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. From the stretch. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run will score as the Braves strike first, deleted one nothing. That is good. The catcher, Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The average for him at 267 on the year, one home run, 10 RBIs. A ball and a strike now. Dahlbeck might try to make a play on it. Ozuna gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first. A double play. That is tough. Next to hit, Austin Riley to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Martinez has a read on it. And that retires the side. New inning set to get underway, and in to hit next it'll be the catcher Kevin Pluecki. The catcher pulls the string on that one, one strike. And it's quickly 0-2. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And there's out number one. Now with the plate is Nate Evaldi. First pitch of the A-B now. A ball and no strikes. One out, nobody on. One and one to the Boston pitcher. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for the first. The first pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is. The batter will be Christian Pache, and he's looking to turn Liga. things around. Ice cold at the, the plate field. in recent oh, action. Richard. There's the cut fastball, but it's Pache. low, 1 0. A bouncer up the middle, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, right here, anytime the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing, trying to get that out at second base. But if not, make sure of one. 
And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Number one. And that'll Second bring in the three. former top prospect, Aldi. Ozzie Albies. Albies. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit softly down the line at first. Scooped up. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter number seven. So next to hit is Hansby Swanson. Runner in scoring position with Sukan. First pitch on the way. The 0 1 offering heading out towards shallow right. Renfro is there and he puts this one away for the third out. Ball set for the start of the fourth. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting okay. a good pitch to hit are way worse. So we got him looking there. Rafael Devers goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Xander Bogarts is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Three and oh now. J.D. Martinez will be next. Yeah. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking oh these hitters. He's making it look easy. Now a sinker this time, but this ball stays outside as he loses him here. It's ball four. J.D. Martinez is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Weak grounder down the line at third. Reined in. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. The batter. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby. Trying here to plate the tying run from second. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 offering. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. One left for the Red Sox. It remains 1 0. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first, the first pitch. Ready. Line toward right center. Three man. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. And Number now 13. in the box, Ronald Acuna. Ronald. He Acuna. doubled his last time up. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 0. One run on three hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Hit hard, but foul. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And it misses three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Base hit, line drive into the corner. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the lead leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Here's Marcelo Zuna as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. One for one with a single so far. Hit in the air out to left. On the move is Martinez. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ready now is Travis Darno. The catcher. Travis. Darno. Set and the pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Devers has it. Throw in time and the side is retired. So no run. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Infield in the Three overshift the here. Now the pitch. The right field number 10. Hunter. Rendell. The wind up and the 0 1. Ah. In there and it's 0 2 now. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back. Ball. But I think he might throw it here. Count is one, one and ball. two now. Two on a line, that's a base hit. The relay. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. The batter number five. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Albies picks it up, and that's out number one. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. The potential tying run for him at third base. And that misses for ball one. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. No runs, two hits, and no Ball. errors for the Red Sox to this point. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. Gets a small piece near the plate. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Austin Riley. In there, no balls and a strike. Riley. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. The pitch. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Fastball in there, three and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Renfro moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number now one. Batting. Right fielder. One out, base Christian. is empty. And up next will be Christian Pache. Tried to check it in its 0 and 1. Good breaking ball, but he missed inside with it. A ball and a strike. Pache is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. The pitcher, number 40. So here now is the Mike. pitcher, Mike Soroka, who dropped the sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play. Alex Verdugo digging in now. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Xander Bogarts is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1 and 0. 1 and 1 the count now. Here it comes. 
hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ozzy Albies. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. The second base. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The batter, At number plate seven. now is Dansby Swanson. He's Dan 0 for 2 Dan. in the ballgame so far. Swanson. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one. Strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Grounded weakly down the line toward third, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Stepping in once Number again three, is Freddie Freeman. He's Freddie. Freddie. He's hit this in his two at bats so Freeman. far. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Freeman will head to second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Ronald Acuna is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. Strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And that misses two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Hard liner to center field. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's now resulted in a game that could really go either way Bobby. in these late innings. Bobby Dahlbeck is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. A swing and a shot down the line. It's a fair ball. He's in at second safely as this game is tied late with a run the scoring right away from the play. Into the box now, Hunter Renfro. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hit back toward the mound. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. He scores. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. At the plate, Kike Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Now that the catcher popped him up. Riley has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. And out of the plate is the Red Sox pitcher, the Nate Evaldi. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done. As it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. That's it for a base hit, and he's two for three. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Thank you. 
They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Lead off base now, hit, bottom Ketcher. of the seventh. You're down Rabbit. one. This has to be the Good moment no. they scratch one across. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Behind 0-2 now. Hit back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Striding in is Austin Riley. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 0. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Verdugo waits on it. One away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. So here is Christian Pache, hopped into foul ground his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Goodness. 0-2 oh, now. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big league. on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. I think Ladies that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check Jason swing appeal. The Hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't Jason. think he likes getting rung up there by the Get first there. base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Sean Newcomb has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Sean. Alex Verdugo is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2 and 1 now to the Boston leadoff hitter. His career numbers in this matchup just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Swing and a flare down the line. And there's a base hit, so a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eighth. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Rafael Devers is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Verdugo aboard here at first with nobody out. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. There to handle it is Ozuna, and there's one away. And he scurries back to first base safely. First pitch coming. Here it is. Xander Bogarts comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Riding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. His prior history in this matchup, he's a 333 hitter. Gone! Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that now even more if they can. The Bobby Dahlbeck stands in as he looks at a called strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Look out! A fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. And it's fouled away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. Now a reaching grab as he makes. Ryan Brazier is on to pitch out. Number 70, Ryan 
First pitch of the A.B. now. Ozzy Albies is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That's lifted the other way out to left. Martinez has a read on it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Fourth trip to the plate for him and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah I know Matty it's been a really nice run for him and hey. It's not over yet. You know he's as motivated as anybody to make something happen right here. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Lifetime in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits and two at bats. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And that will find its way into center field for a one-out hit. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 home. Hit out towards second. Oh, what a stop! He goes to first. Got him! Great play right there. Usually, the rule of thumb, it has to be a bullet for you to leave your feet and still complete the double play. Got the out at first base after the dive. I like it. He's set. Here it comes. The 0 1 on its way. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. And that one is gone. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed, he's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk, or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. No left field. Stepping in now, Marcelo Zuna. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this. Luke Jackson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whoo, that's a tough one to get back. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Gone to lead off the inning. The bullpen is going to have to take care of business in the bottom half of this inning. But they're going to be able to throw a lot freer that they've got that extra run to play with. Insurance runs are always huge. And that one got a piece of them. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Kevin Ploiecki is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Ball two now. Jackson stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was selected in the first round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Christian Vasquez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He'll check in with an average still south of 230. Six home runs and 21 driven in. Throw cleanly into first and that ends the inning. 
Matt Barnes takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. So now into the box is Travis Darno. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And a ball one and oh. Rounded slowly to the left side. He's got it. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. So the next to bat will be Austin Riley. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. Grounded back up the middle. Bogarts has it. On the first. And that means the Braves are now down to their final out. Next to hit is Christian Pache. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And he'll put this one.